Don't call it Dolores. It's just a damn machine. Jesus. Just a machine? After all the times I've saved your hide? Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I checked out Empire of Ashes 2, also known as Empire of Ashes 1. I don't know what's up with that. Apparently, they re-released it the next year just with Empire of Ashes 2, even though it was the same movie. I don't know. I didn't do it. Anyways, this 1988 or 1989 film was directed by Michael Mays and Lloyd Simandi and stars Melanie Kilgore, Tom Shorlier, and Frank Wilson, among others, of course. The story of this movie takes place in a post-apocalyptic America where everything's kind of fallen apart and it takes place in a country called New Idaho. So this new country has like a cult that runs it and they have a little army of, of bikers and, and gang members and they are trying to kidnap women to put them in this like breeding program thing that involves them like going into stasis in these tubes. And yeah, it's just about our characters trying to survive this. There's also cannibals in the woods that they have to deal with as well. So they're just trying to live their life and maybe get out of New Idaho. What will happen though? Well, you gotta watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this film. Well, with this one, of course, there's that confusion with the title. It's both Empire of Ashes and Empire of Ashes 2. They're the same movie. I don't know why that happened. Don't blame me. I didn't do it. And so that was... A little bit confusing, you know, trying to look up some information about this movie. I eventually figured out what was going on, but it would have been good to know before I'm doing my research. But this one is straight out of the 80s. It's very 80s, I would say. It's kind of like that shot on video 80s style that you come across every so often. So it's not their particularly best quality or anything like that. And they have, you know, all the 80s haircuts, 80s costumes. I think in the 80s, they also had like black tank top movies is what I've heard it called, where like people just kind of make these movies shot on video and they always have someone in a black tank top. And this certainly does have that as well. So if you're into that movie type, it certainly is all in this one right down to that black tank top. And so, yeah, there's lots of things that go into it where if you're familiar with this style of movie, you know what you're getting into before you press play. And there are a few fun things in this one. You know, they have this computer system that's state of the art. And so it has like its own intelligence and things like that. And you think it would be more than like a Commodore 64 computer. But no, it's like the oldest computer you can think of. And it's kind of sassy as well. I did enjoy that. Other than that, there's lots of bullets in this one. There's so many bullets in this one. They're just firing all of their different guns. And you can see the exhaust like blow their hair and stuff. So that's awesome to see. They have this like rocket man. And he's like shooting rockets everywhere too. I think he even has rockets on his head. So it does have quite a few of these kind of funner elements that do kind of break up the monotony of the rest of it. So it, it is in there. You can find these things to enjoy. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this movie. Well, I have no idea what the plot was. I actually had to watch it like a second time just to try to understand it. Of course, you know, I'm skipping through it to try to understand the plot. But it took me forever to figure out what's going on. This movie tells you nothing about these people. It took me forever to realize that the cult was actually the government for New Idaho. And then the way it's edited as well, like the army of bikers is never seen with the cult but apparently they're working for the cult and then i don't know there's a bunch of other stuff like that they never explain anything they do explain one thing and that's that the cannibals in the forest are people from the city after the plague but besides that nothing is explained like who are these people even their relationships with each other clearly they have some history together but they never explain it they never explain why they have a hatred for each other or, or whatever. It's just never explained. So good luck if you're trying to figure out the plot. It's something you got to watch a, a few times to get. And that is certainly detrimental to it. It really just seems like it's things happening in front of you. Because nobody says anything about what is actually going on. And that certainly does hurt the movie. With that being said, this movie is mostly people doing stuff in the forest. 
It is, of course, that VOD style where they're just going to the forest and shooting. You don't need a permit to do that, right? So they're just in the forest. They're running in the forest, chasing people in the forest, fighting cannibals in the forest, shooting guns in the forest. Everything is just really kind of in the forest. I do think they move to like a quarry pit eventually, but uh, even then, that's just like gray rocks around you, right? So yeah, the setting is something to be desired is, is what I'll say about that. As for my recommendation, well, I don't think I can recommend it in good faith to anyone. Unless you're doing like a best of the worst thing, then it's fine to press play. It is one of those movies where it's just things happening in front of you in the forest. Nothing's explained and that's a real problem. So do consider my words before pressing play. But you know, if you want to, you can find it on Tubi. So go over there and check it out if you feel so inclined. As for a rating, well, I'll give it the score of 3. I did think it was pretty meh. But thinking about it, I think that might be overhyping it even. <laughs> so I would probably do it a little bit lower. So yeah, take that into consideration. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.